I, oh man, I'm exhausted. I'm just like mentally, emotionally, physically. Just, I'm gonna go take a hot bath and hopefully these nightmares will become dreams. So don't have to dream the nightmare anymore because I'm always dreaming the nightmare, but maybe you see some light at the end of the tunnel. A warm pl place, a safe place for you out there. There's so many of you out there that have been walking around with similar experiences and similar childhoods and a lot of you, a lot of you out there. So whenever you hear this video, just know that um, you're safe. You're safe. You can be safe. You can get out. You can get out, and guess what else, too? Those of you that are afraid of losing the money and stuff that's involved in this, check it out. You'll still be able to have, make money, and, and you'll be like a hero, and you'll be, there'll be all kinds of opportunities for you, but the people will love you, and so you won't have no problem having everything you need. You, you know, and then some. I mean, there's, you don't, you won't lose anything. You make the right decision, and you come out from behind the veil, get away from that. Walk away. Get out. You'll be safe here. And I swear to you, you will not lose anything. You will have more than you ever dreamed of. I just know it somehow. Um, uh, I'm not sure if uh, there's a piece of information. That I'm not sure if it got uploaded in the past five videos that she made. Or if it was in the video that... Uh, when up at the end there was two videos that were kind of long but we didn't we totally made two like we made a 15 minute video and then a 10 minute video that didn't get to get uploaded so there might have been a piece of information important information that you should know that may not have been mentioned I'm not sure if it was or not so yeah I'm going to repeat it again she was talking about the conventions and a lot of them in Las Vegas too and stuff like huge conventions and she said like people from the outside would try to come in and stuff and they'd be no um it's um their group their party their convention or whatever and I was like what a, a Mason convention or what she said they didn't have names they're just called conventions and the and their pamphlets that they have they're identified by little symbols at the bottom of what they do and what like literally like sign language or like secret codes or languages just that they recognize the people that are in it that do those things you know they'll get the, the pamphlet they'll know what kind of convention it is and what kind of what they can expect um mild pornography or straight up snuff films or babies or you know whatever it is how deeply how bloody and how gory it goes because a lot of them are just light mild mild um, children 12, 13 years old, like she, they didn't start pimping her out until after her dad de virginizes her and then, um, like, I'm going to say 10, 11, 12, 13, whatever, but, uh, those people, like, you know, that attend the parties, you know, the, like she said, for the gestures and masons and stuff like that was, um, like she was like, Cindy Lou Productions. She said Cindy Lou Productions. They even had that after her, um, and she was like a little Shirley Temple. She said, you, you, you know, and um, they uh, buy her expensive gifts and stuff sometimes. And um, but the mild, um, like the people that they're initiated with secret societies are all because this is my, the Illuminati, the Draconian, the Dragon, the Secret Pyramid, the Dollar Bill. Okay, all of those secret societies in there are all part of the Illuminati. Many different names, but the Masons are the ones that go all the way from the lowest level of society, this side of the veil, and move all the way through the veil, or this side of the veil, through the veil, completely to the other side of the veil. That's what the Masons do. They, they're the only one that stretches all the way from both sides of the veil. The other secret society are dabbled in between. So the Masons, so basically you can own say, uh, no matter what the name of the secret society is, they're still the Masons. Okay, even if they're not Masons, trust me on this. So, um, but 
when they get in the secret societies, the first things they do, once they pass, if they don't ever make it past the third degree, the blue lodge, you know, or whatever, if they never make it rituals or what or republic, whatever you do, your aprons made out of lamb skin and lamb is the animal that's the closest to the woman, it's human vagina. And then your aprons over your clothes, but then when you're doing your private um, rituals or ceremonies, um, you guys all have to be naked with your apron, lambskin apron, turned to the side and tucked up under so all the penises are exposed. Immediately they start the sex, like breaking them down with the men, they instantly start judging each other because of the, you know, and then they just totally, that's why there's so much homosexuality and gayness and stuff, is because they have, they do that and then they have the parties for them with these children. Um, they start out mild, like younger ch children that aren't baby children, but they get all the way down to newborn babies, but still. Um, then they'll have like plays or whatever, and or they'll be up there having sex with the children, having the children have sex with each other, and then the rest of the people in the uh, secret society, the order, whatever, that are watching, they're just watching like a show. And then, so they all sometimes start whatever, doing this, you know, and um, the homosexuality and there's um, but that's how they start them out. That's how they start getting them. Every single one of them. Every single one of you out there know. Every single Mason, every single one of you that has passed the third degree of the blue lives, know that you've been given these parties and these shindigs or whatever, but if you don't move up in your uh, rank in your secret society, you don't move up in your career. You cannot make all the money and be a top level of anything if you don't move up in your secret society. For every level of secret society, the parties with the children get more or, uh, but she told me in Vegas there's pamphlets and they're identified by little symbols at the bottom and she knows what the symbols are and so I'm going to get a hold of those pamphlets and find out where these conventions are that don't have names that are identified by only the people that know what they are but the symbols at the bottom and she told me the maze and some, you know the every so I'm going to find I'm going to get a hold of those pamphlets and find those symbols I'm going to symbols I'm going to go to those conventions and I'm going to confront them I'm going to get right in their face. I might even do it over the microphone. I might even bring my, I'll get my own microphone. I don't know. But yes, I live in Vegas, and guess what? Um, yeah. Uh, holy shmoly. Troy Regas, you are my hero. Your mama, your Madonna, Yvonne, Yvonne, I'm so sorry. Ingrid, Kimber, Farrah, Troy, and, and Sean. Jennifer, Jay, I don't feel, that, I don't really know his energy too much, but anyway, your whole family, though, but Yvonne, you, um, I adore you, thank you for what you did, and I'm so sorry that, I, I'm so sorry for what I've done to your family, I'm so sorry, but I didn't know, I was confused, I didn't understand, but I just know that you, your family has done what nobody has ever done before. And Yvonne and her children and her family, this, when Dave Burgess went to prison and Joe Conforti, Joe Conforti, all his properties, Dave Burgess's properties that Troy ended up getting all that, that's the hub, one of the main trafficking hubs in the world that transport human trafficking, methadone's kidnapping, and Troy has plugged it up, he's stopped it, they can't get it through, he's plugging it up all over the place and people are losing big money and that's what the war is going on between the Hells Angels and like, right now, he, there's going to be a lot of people from all different um, government, military, um, cops, bikers, whatever, they're going to be ganging up on, they are ganging up on him. But there's people in every one of those that are, don't do it, they're good, and there's people that are, that are, don't want to let that money go. So, uh, support your local red and white. <laughs> support your global red and white. That means the house angels. <laughs> you want?